Yes. You know, we're, we're hard work, we're intelligent people here. We're, as Americans, we, we have the ability to self-sustain right here in our own country. We have plenty of jobs here that can go around that, that there's, there's enough work for, for more than enough people. There's enough education that, that our youth should be, their minds should be exploding with knowledge, not, not this garbage, this back and forth garbage that's going on between, between this mess. You know, the, the, the children shouldn't be involved in that. You know, we, we need to come to a compromise. We need to come to, to a middle ground, and that's just for everybody. You know, we need to see things eye to eye. We need to come together as one and make it happen. And we need to start with ourselves. I need to start with myself. I need to change from within. I need to make it happen here. Without that, I can't, I can't produce. I can't produce anything for anybody if I am no good. And I can't stand before anybody and make make anything happen unless I'm making that change from within. You know, I just got a house out in the country. You know, unfortunately I'm away from the city. I can't do as much work as I'd like to be with, with my family around here, but I, I have to self-sustain. You know, I'm, I'm out there trying to plant things to, to, you know, become one more with nature, to harvest things from the earth so I don't have to buy from who knows what they're making out there and vegetables and whatever. And, you know, just trying to make it, man, like everyone else. But we gotta do it for ourselves. We gotta do it for each other. We gotta help each other along. You know, you see a man down, help him up. Don't just walk past him. Give your felt, hold, start holding doors open for folks. You know, we gotta be kind to each other. We're, we're what we got. Be kind to your fellow nature. You know, they're destroying our planet with fracking. They're, sh they're shuttling up gas from natural, uh, national fuel. They're shuttling it up from the Marcellus Shale right up through Canada. What the frack? What the frack, man? We're going to be yeah, drinking that water. Yeah. They're going to be tapping into Lake Erie. You want to drink that water? I don't. That's a beautiful resource we have here. We could do a lot with that land. You know, we need to wake these folks up. They're sleeping. Wake the frack up. We need to come together as one. You know, I'm glad to see that we're here. You people bring joy to my heart that we're here together. You know, let's 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 raise these numbers. You know, let's let's bring these numbers up. Let's get this party started, man. Let's rock and roll. You know, we're here together. We can do this. We can do this. We, we the people. We are the people. We are the 99%. You know, we can do it. You can do it. Next, we're going to bring up Chris. Chris is going to talk about solidarity and struggles. Hey, everybody. I'm really happy to see all of you out here today. I just can't tell you. I stand in solidarity with all of you today. That's the key word today, solidarity. And I wanted to do something, you know, the two words that brought this entire movement together, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. 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 What I want to do is I had this thought right before I came up here that I wanted to do a little shout to you guys and then you do a call back. So I say, for the solidarity with the struggle worldwide, you say, mic check, mic check. For the struggle for peace in Buffalo and around the world, I say mic check. For the struggle for housing rights in Buffalo and around the world, I say mic check. For the struggle for universal health care, I say mic check. Mic check. For the struggle of economic equality across all borders, I say mic check. Mic check. To bring all the radical factions and all the revolutionaries together under one banner of solidarity and justice, I say mic check. Mic check. <laughs> for the struggle for unity in the struggle for peace against the government that oppresses us, I say mic check. Mic check. <laughs> to bring everyone together 
in the shared vision of beauty and a better world, I say mic check. Mic check. I love you so much. I love you all so much. I can't even tell you. This movement has meant the world to me. It's meant the world to me, and I can tell it means so much to you, okay? This morning, me and a bunch of really crazy cool people died in up at the Lafayette Square recruiters, and we shut them down. They did not open all day long. And that means not a single recruit walked in there and signed up for murder today. And I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy. So please, I'm gonna put out a call right now. We're gonna die in again on July 4th, right in front of the Lafayette Square recruiters at 10 a.m. Please join us, because we can shut it down again. That's what this holiday is about, shutting it down. This is a general strike. A global general strike. Shut it down. Capitalism is guilty of committing more crimes against humanity than any other machine in the history of this earth. Can I get a mic check? Mic check. Mic check. It's time to shut it down. Can I say mic check? Mic check. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. We can build a better world. We don't need money. We don't need gasoline. We don't need cars and credit cards and all the bullshit that comes with that. We're better than that. That's a debt-ridden society. We're $15 trillion in debt. What the hell can we really afford? Can I get a mic check? We can't afford this bullshit. It is time to end it. That's what Occupy Wall Street is about. Stand in solidarity, one love. Keep it going, guys. It's American Spring. I stand with all of you. You're beautiful. God bless. My check! My check! Amen. We're going to bring Pierre up here from the Network of Religious Communities. He's going to talk about his place and our place in the community. It's really beautiful to see this turnout today. Uh, the Network of Religious Communities represents more than two dozen different religious communities, Christian and non-Christian. It's one of the places where we really have a forum to talk about differences and to work together on common issues. The Network of Religious Communities voted last October unanimously to support Occupy Buffalo. And that's been our role since last October to work together to find ways to get the message of Occupy Buffalo out into the rest of the community. And we have a unique uh, opportunity to do that. We've been using it. We've been providing representatives from Occupy Buffalo with opportunities to speak in churches and congregations. And that's been our function. There's a long history, as you've heard already, of religious community standing with the working community. It hasn't always been that strong, but it's been consistent. And we're in the process of trying to get the religious community of Buffalo, through the network of religious communities, to stand with the working class, the, pe the people who are oppressed, and the people who are trying to make change. It's not always easy, because as I'm sure you all know, religions cut across all classes. But we're trying to radicalize the members of our communities who are standing with the 1% and get them to help us who are part of the 99%. We need your support. We need to be there with all of you. And we need you to be aware of the fact that you're not alone, that there's a lot of people out there who are supporting you all around, not just Buffalo, but Erie County and Niagara County and Orleans County, Chautauqua, all the rest. Okay, we're with you. We're delighted, we're, no, we're not delighted. We are enthusiastic and, and just really pleased to see so many people working together. And yes, it is a question of unity, it is a question of solidarity, and we're working together to build a bigger and better world. Thank you. <laughs>